Hello everyone, Steven again from Drone of Prey FPV, giving you guys an update and first impressions on the Diamondback nozzle. So far has performed very well. This print just finished, uh, it was about a 16 hour print. Um, just now actually going to shut the machine off, You'll probably hear me a little better. So let's start off by saying I'm not an expert. I, uh, I've been printing for a few years now. I just have my little Ender 3. She's pretty good and tuned up, tuned in. Um, printed a lot of upgrades. It's still the stock hot end. I do have upgraded fans. Um, but other than that, I've got her set up to print. She prints TPU for me very well. Uh, I do a lot of glow in the dark, so I've wore out a lot of my brass nozzles, which is what brought me to the Diamondback. Um, Originally, I wanted to go with the Ruby before I knew about the Diamondback. Uh, but the problems that I heard with it was that it being fragile. The Ruby is made out of a single crystal Ruby. Um, so it's very hard. It doesn't wear, but it's fragile. It'll crack. You run it into the bed or something like that, and, and it cracks under the pressure. Um, the Diamond's not going to do that. Uh, I'll link a video in the description of one of their their tests, their wear tests for their nozzles. And honestly, you should see what this diamond tip does to the grinding wheel. The grinding wheel takes out every other nozzle except for this one. The diamondback nozzle takes out the grinding wheel. It's pretty impressive. But anyway, just got done printing this uh, nice group planter. I printed a small one earlier. Before that, printed a soil sifter. Before that, we started with that and another planter. So she's printed a lot. It's all just regular PLA. Um, on this one, it did this whole print. It's about an 11 hour print. And it did this print all while leaking. I had a small leak. It was my own fault. I didn't tighten my heat block and my nozzle quite right. Um, but anyway, it came loose. You'll see in the little video, I'll show you some clips. It is gooped up. Once I pulled my silicone boot off, it was covered. So we're going to clean it out and run it again. But the tip might be hard to see right there. I'm going to get some pictures for you guys. But the tip has got no plastic stuck to it. All the plastic is stuck to the brass and then it's molded up to where <laughs> inside of the silicone case was. But we're going to get her cleaned out and run some more. But so far, I'm very impressed, especially running that well with a goopy leak. But it printed all this with a leak. I can't. There, I can get it to barely crack. I'm squeezing it hard. But... Came out great. Cleaned up the leak. Been printing since. And I have no complaints. Guys with the same G code. I didn't alter any G code. Um, just basically plug and play. I just put the nozzle in and ran another print. Back to back. This one I printed with my old wore out brass nozzle which was, it was pretty wore out, but you can really only see the difference in some of those reflections. Like I said, same exact G code, same filament, but even in the finish right there, you can see that the diamond tip is more polished. Globs and hairs, there's almost none. Which, like I said, I my ender's pretty tuned in already. Um, so I really didn't have any herring and stringing issues until my tips got wore out. Uh, that's when I'd notice more herring. So great results. Uh, and you're not going to wear it out. So get you the Diamondback nozzle. You're not going to be discouraged. You're not going to need another nozzle. If you want to torture it, go ahead. I think it's going to win, but there's not much out on YouTube yet. 
So I figured I would share it with you guys. It's all packaged very nice. I have an unboxing video and they give you this really nice case. And that way you can keep all of your extra tips in it that you're never gonna use. But that way they look nice. And they do have a three different size kit, uh, not a kit, but a set that you can get at a little bit discounted price. You can get a 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and a 0.8 millimeter size and you get the discounted price. So as soon as I get my next printer, that's what I'm getting. Never buy another nozzle. Get you the diamond back. They're nice. Anyway, thanks for listening to me blabble. Um, I do have some really cool metal filament to print with. My wife got me for my birthday. Super cool. 20% metal from Abilene. You can find it on Amazon. Um, I'll go ahead and put the link in the description on that one too. But next video, maybe? Hmm? Yeah? No? I don't know. Who cares? Anyway, see you guys next time.